Hi, Gemini. Welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your monthly reading for December. I hope everybody out there is doing well. I am going to take a quick second to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with every single Gemini, so just take what resonates for you. Leave the rest for someone else. Keep in mind that the monthly readings are predictive in nature, so if these events are not occurring for you right now, they could very well occur in the next few weeks. But as always, Gemini, please don't force yourself into a reading that's not for you. Spirit, what would you like Gemini to know for the month of December? All right, Gemini, you are starting out with the Nine of Swords. So there's something that is bothering you, something that is keeping you up at night. Um, there's worry and anxiety involved with this. It's caused by the Magician. So you are in a manifestation mode. Um, this is also Major Arcana for Gemini. In the past, we have the death card. So there's something here that is um, has ended or is transforming for you. Let me see why all this is happening. Yeah, because you've been unhappy. You've been feeling emotionally discontent. So that's why all this is happening. What's on your mind? Well, you have the Six of Pentacles. So you're thinking long-term here. Some of you are thinking about your money, but um, this could also be a long-term relationship as well. Whatever it is currently has you in a lot of anxiety. So let me see what is coming in the month of December for you. Show me December for Gemini. Show me December for Gemini. Okay, so the King of Wands reversed. Now you could be dealing here with a person in your life that is a fire sign. That would be a Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius, but there's a little bit of non-action that's going to be addressed here. Let's look and see how you're showing up in the reading. Four of Pentacles in the reverse. So you're trying to release something here. You're trying to let something go. Let me see um, the energy coming towards you in December. Show me the energy coming towards Gemini in December. This strength card, you may have a Leo approaching you, but this is somebody that um, has really been working on themselves. Let me see what Spirit's advice is. Show me Spirit's advice. This person may have or develop strong feelings for you as well. Show me Spirit's advice. Seven of Cups, Spirit is saying you have options, but there may be confusion surrounding some of this as well. So let me see um, your outcome at the end of December. Show me the outcome for Gemini at the end of December. The Page of Swords. All right, so that could be communication. It could also indicate um, the need to look at something. This could be a messenger that is coming towards you with information as well. So we will clarify that. Bottom of the deck is the Three of Cups. That is in the reverse. That's underlying energy. And what that indicates to me is that, you know, there is a sense here of unhappiness. You might be isolating yourself a little bit. Be careful about that. But it's underlying energy. So let's clarify here. Spirit, why is the Nine of Swords here for Gemini? All right, we have the chariot and the sun. So you're trying to move forward from something here, an ending or a transformation of some kind in the past. I do see you moving forward. Um, it looks like you're manifesting that forward movement because you want to be happy. I also see you gaining a lot of clarity as you move forward. And we can tell from Spirit's advice that there has been a lot of confusion here as to what direction, what option to choose. Why is the magician here? 
Yeah, you feel like it's time to move forward and you're manifesting clarity. You're manifesting being able to look at this situation in a new light. Um, I feel like you're just tired of waiting. Why is the death card here for Gemini? Why is the death card here for Gemini? The seven, okay, so something ended because of deception. So you're trying to move forward from an ending that had a lot of deception, lying, cheating, stealing. Um, you want to be happy. You've gotten clarity on the situation, and now you're moving forward. Um, the Ten of Cups is clarified by the Strength card in reverse. Now, the Strength card is what's approaching you, but here it's in reverse. So that does indicate that there's a lot of fear underlying this. There's a lot of unhappiness, a lot of... Um, lack of clarity that, that is underlying everything that is taking place. Let me see what's on your mind. You have the Six of Pentacles here, so you're trying to create balance. Um, you may be also trying to balance out your financial situation, but you, you want balance in your life. You want an equal give and take. Yeah, you're thinking about walking away from a situation or you, you're thinking about a situation where you or someone else has already walked away. So let's look at December for you. Very curious about that. Spirit, show me December for the sign of Gemini. Show me December. So there is some stuck energy that's here. I'm seeing that already. Show me the month of December for Gemini. Show me the month of December for Gemini. All right. So we have the Fool. We have the Lovers. Ace of Wands. Three of Wands reversed, Nine of Wands reversed, Page of Swords reversed, the Death card reversed, there's that stuck energy, Page of Cups, Three of Coins, ah, the Ten of Cups in the upright, very nice, the Hermit reversed, Five of Pentacles, and the Four of Swords reversed. Okay, so it looks like you're starting out the month here, Gemini, with a lack of action. Um, and maybe not even feeling very good about things. There's almost a sense here of um, a lack of passion here at the very beginning of the month. However, in the first week, I see you basically putting on your bootstraps and, you know, what is it they say? Um, pulling up your bootstraps and, and you start moving. Uh, I do see that in the first week, you have some kind of a new beginning here. You're taking a leap of faith. So you're moving from non-action into a leap of faith. And this is something to do with your, your manifesting energy here. Um, and I do feel that Part of this is because you're tired of waiting around for something. So you're you're taking this leap of faith. You will have a big choice in the first week with regard to a, it could be between two people or a big decision with regard to love. But I do see you embarking on something new that you're very passionate about. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a relationship, but it could be for a lot of you. It is definitely something you're passionate about and you're taking that leap of faith. There's almost an innocence as well as you take that leap of faith. I do see that it will be a, a big decision for you. In the second week, I see an impatience to overcome all the problems, but you're not quite sure. There's something that you, you, know, you don't know or you can't figure out. Um, it has to do with this relationship that ended here in the past. Um, this relationship did end because of deception, so there's a little bit of this stuck energy here still in the second week. Um, you may be trying to decide, does your future lie with this person, or do you need to move forward? And this will be the decision that you're making here. 
I do feel that there's a desire to overcome the problems that are in that connection, but you don't quite know how. However, you, you haven't quite let that person go. There's still some kind of an emotional attachment here. I am seeing in the third week there is new somebody new coming into your life, or it could be that you receive an apology or are approached by somebody from the past. Either way, and it could even be both, either way, it's going to make you very happy. I do see that. Um, there's a, a sense here of stability. There could be a soul contract, either with a past person, very likely with a past person, that you may be trying to renew things with, or you may be meeting somebody entirely new with this Page of Cups that you will have a soul contract with. Um, I do see with regard to finances and business that there's something to do with new contracts in the third week uh, that will make you very happy as well. So there's a lot going on in that third week of December that, that's really going to be very pleasing to you. All right. It starts out with this non-action, but because you're manifesting and you're taking this leap of faith, I do feel that you're bringing a lot to you. Um, both in the way of love as well as something to do with the sta stability financially. Um, in the last week, I do see that you're kind of coming out of this energy where you have been hermiting, kind of keeping to yourself. I see you actually talking with somebody possibly from the past. Um, you may be discussing things with regard to money, but there's a lot of healing that has taken place. And this energy of trying to figure things out that you have in the middle of the month, it's like you found the answers by the end of the month. So those answers are coming to you. For some of you, I do see that there is going to be um, a sense here of trying, of, of thinking at least. I wouldn't say trying, thinking about healing somebody uh healing something from the past, um, but there's still healing that would need to take place. That's for those of you that are considering a reconciliation with somebody. Um, there is a sense here, though, of, of a little bit of isolation, a little bit of loss, and there's this need to continue to heal that. So it looks like you're really manifesting in the month of December, and you're kind of shaking things loose. And it's because you've, you've chosen to take action. You've chosen to take this leap of faith in the beginning of the month. And all that energy that has been a little bit stagnant is now moving forward. So let me look and see how you're showing up. Show me how Gemini is showing up in this reading, please. So we have the moon in reverse. We have the six of wands reversed. And we have the six of swords reversed. That's that stuck energy. So you're showing up here as trying to release something. Um, you, there is an epiphany that you're going to gain within the first week or so, maybe the first or second week, about what is keeping you from the success that you're desiring. Um, I do feel that there's a, something that you've been trying to move away from, to release, to let go. And that is that stuck energy that I was feeling initially. There is going to be an epiphany about what is preventing you from the success that you desire. So let me see the energy coming towards you. Because it looks like you may have options in the month, month of December. I'm definitely seeing um, somebody from your past, but I'm also seeing somebody new. And you may have to make a decision between the two. Show me. Thank you. Show me who is approaching Gemini in December. All right, we have the Four of Wands in the reverse, we have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Empress in the reverse, and we have the Ace of Pentacles reverse. So I, again, I'm seeing somebody that you may have been married to, or you may have been in a long-term relationship that is approaching you. This person will have very strong feelings for you, um, and I do see this person reaching out to you in some sort of a small way. Um, this is somebody, though, that 
you know, really needs to get in touch with their own self-worth, their own value here. They may feel that they were disrespected in this connection, um, and they may be trying to work things out with you regarding that. Um, this is what would need to be healed that I'm seeing here in the fourth week. Um, this person wants a new beginning with you. Now, I'm also seeing um, that there is somebody here who may be recently divorced. This would be a new person. Um, they're curious about you. They want to know about you. Um, I don't see them currently nurturing this connection. However, and they could be having financial problems too, but they are temporary. This person would like to have a, a new beginning with you. Be careful that this person is interested in you for the right reasons and not for financial reasons. The um, signs that I'm seeing, and don't get too tied up to the signs, but the signs that I am seeing is definitely Leo. Um, I see a Taurus or a Libra, um, possibly. But they could have those signs in their chart, you know, very prominently elsewhere. So let's look at Spirit's advice. Show me Spirit's advice for Gemini in the month of December. Show me Spirit's advice for Gemini in the month of December. All right, so we have Temperance. We have the King of Swords in the reverse. And we have the star card. All right, so Spirit's advice is that you you definitely have options here, Gemini. Um, there's a caution here that you are not stepping into your power. Uh, there could, and that's caused by confusion. So con confusion may be keeping you from stepping into your power as much as you should. Um, healing, there's more healing that needs to take place. And I do see you continuing to do that healing at the end of the month. But Spirit is saying that if you will do that, that that's going to bring out the balance that you're, you're thinking about, the balance that you're seeking here. Um, there's guidance for you to be hopeful that you have more than one option here, but healing is going to be a major component for you in order to get what it is that you want. For some of you, there's also a caution that you're not being honest with yourself, um, so be careful with that as well. Please also know that with the um, temperance card here that you are being spiritually guided. Yeah, you're being spiritually guided. Um, make sure that you're not acting in a dishonest way, either with self or with others. So now let's look at your outcome. Show me why the Page of Swords is here and the outcome for Gemini. Show me the outcome for Gemini in the month of December. All right, we have Justice in Reverse. We have the Hierophant. And we have the Page of Wands. So it looks like you're definitely going to get some communication here by the end of the month. Um, now, it does look like this has to do with uh, something to do with commitment, or it could have to do with an institution. Um, perhaps somebody that you work with or work for. I definitely feel that um, by the end of the month, you're definitely going to have options, okay? Um, there is going to be communication. However, with justice in reverse, be very careful because um, I really strongly feel that there is somebody from your past that feels that they were treated unjustly. Um, they're going to want to talk about this. But there is definitely the opportunity for commitment coming in. So whatever it is that you feel that you don't know here, that you don't know how to address, which it looks like it's how to resolve problems, how to resolve trust issues, um, that, that information is coming forward. It's going to start very small, though. I don't see it being like, like huge communications or huge discussions, huge clarity. But it looks like it begins somewhere around the third or fourth week of December. This is somebody who has felt a sense of injustice. You may even be in legal, um, some sort of a legal issue. If you're in a legal issue, um, I will say that there will be some sort of ruling about that by the end of the month. Yeah, but... 
definitely there's something new here as well. So you've, it, you've got a lot of options here in December and you've got decisions to make. So I do like the fact that you are moving from this energy of non-action, you know, this something that you either walked away from or something that ended or is being transformed. But there was a lot of non-action, a lot of stuck energy. That waiting, that non-action is disappearing in December. And it does look like it's going to be a very busy month. I also really like the fact, Gemini, that by the end of the month, there is happiness that is returning to your life. Um, it looks like the answers you're seeking, you are going to find. But remember that healing is the key to, to all of this. All right, so I'm going to pull an oracle card for you. I'm using the Enchanted Map Oracle cards. Uh, these cards we do read in reverse. So if it comes out in reverse, we will be re reading reversals. Most Oracle cards don't, but this one does. All right. Yeah, we have Solitude. It's number 13. That condenses down to a four. Fours are generally about stability. So stability could be a very big issue for you right now. All right, it says, uh, I am comfortable in my own skin as I detach to replenish my soul. It says, meditation is required when you receive the solitude card as a sign. Empty your mind of superfluous thoughts and allow stillness to flow through your whole being. This is not an advantageous time to ask questions or push forward in any way. Rather, it's a period for a conscious retreat. What's called for now is to step back, take your focus off of your life and your troubles. You'll be surprised by how things sort themselves out once you have replenished your energy by means of a much needed rest and time out. That's that healing energy. So, you know, use that, that manifestation power that you have here. Be very honest and direct with yourself as you're moving through this process and allow spirit to bring to you those things that you desire, including the clarity that you're looking for. And just know you have a lot of options here. Um, your underlying energy is the two of coins, which indicates that you're weighing up the pros and cons. Take a step back. Just replenish yourself and you will find the balance that you're seeking. All right, I hope that this has been helpful, Gemini. If you have resonated with this reading, hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe. And until I see you in your next reading, namaste.